Hey Gary, there's some parts here for you. You got some parts? What parts are there? <laughs> Looks like some FDF oh, fab. What in the FDF fab? <laughs> oh baby, I'm so excited to see what I've been waiting for for seems like a lifetime. We'll open it with care. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, we got some unpackaging to do. Sean, you want to come over here and help me unpackage? Let's get this. See what kind of cool angle. Oh, baby. Ooh, look at that. Alright, we'll get unwrapping. We'll probably have to put this in fast forward because they wrapped their stuff up well because they don't want it all banged up, which I appreciate. Oh, that's a handbrake. That was the extra, the extra, extra. And they told me that they weren't sure if I was going to do this. Decided that uh, they went ahead and made one off uh, custom handbrake for me. Ooh, she's looking nice. Let's get this thing apart. Oh, they did give us that. That was great. Great products. Take a little look here. What you got there, bud? Fucking jawbone. <laughs> Whoa! Check out that. That's sick. I mean, that's. I told them silver and gold. I'm pretty sure they hit that one on the head. That's sweet. Got the FDF fab stamped in the side. Great quality parts. Let's not forget, custom effing customs right here. They were the ones that took the car apart. So first things first was working on the suspension and getting it sent out yep. to FDF out. And doing my two favorite things, which is putting smiles on people's faces with a lot of horsepower, getting that angle completely cranked with FDF fab. And uh, yeah, scaring some people into spending some money where it matters. They also were the ones that packaged it, COVID boxed it, and did all that other crazy stuff. Spent 30 hours playing with shipping containers and all that stuff. So big shout out to Custom FM Customs for putting in the work to get this kit going. Got it to Canada, to FDF Fab. They absolutely nailed it. I'm so excited. It's been kind of a little bit of a long time, but that's the world we live in right now. And we're just excited to see parts here out the shop. So that means our car is one step closer. Holy hunya! That's what I'm saying, bud. That's sick, they bud. Nailed us. That's the one off one they made for me, silver and gold. It's special. It wasn't even part of our job. They said uh, we wanted to do a little extra for you, and they did. That looks killer, man. Super That's sweet. Be about us sitting in that thing. So now we're just unboxing. I'm gonna go take a look at the Cadillac, show the progress on how the wide body's going well as put these parts up to that black car and see how much they're gonna pop, which I think is gonna look really well. So, obviously they did it because they were able to package everything up pretty nice with box. Yeah. And they were able to do it much cleaner. Woo, look at that. Just keeps getting better. Just keeps getting better. So you wanna know the only bummer? It's not. KWs aren't here yet? Nope. What's the bummer? You gotta get your old stuff back. No, I did. You did? Yeah, I just got it. Yeah. Okay, you knew that. I was like, I know, you said, hey, yeah. I checked with you and said, you do need that stuff back, so we just need to have a spindle. So oh, at least he popped that for us. And Ethan caught that, I believe, at FDF Fab, so thank you, Ethan. So we have the stuff to actually make this thing come together the correct way. Absolutely beautiful products. What yeah, do you think? Yeah. Look at killer. Look at killer. I mean, you make custom parts all the time. So, let's great, let's great the quality on it. What are you thinking? Yeah, look at them welds. Yeah, I think they did a great job. Pretty buttery, pretty, pretty professional. I mean, not pretty professional, absolutely professional. We like how they did the adjustment right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're, uh, yeah. yeah. They're always oh, good work. if they're doing all the extras for us, which is, this is why before I even bought the Cadillac, I actually called FDF Fab and said, hey, 
I always run FDF Fab on my cars. Before I buy this V2, the car is in Texas. Will you guys build me an angle kit? Because if you will not build me an angle kit, there's no reason to purchase the car. They said, yeah, the car came. Then we dealt with COVID. And now the parts are here and we're ready to rock and roll. I think we went from 35 degrees of an angle, brought it up to a leaf, 67 degrees, which on a four door caddy should be plenty enough, good time. So we'll yep. just keep on unboxing, checking out these sweet parts and uh, spend the rest of our day smiling. Yeah, it's totally killer. And we'll keep smashing and keep unboxing. Talk to you guys a bit. All right, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What do you think? It's pretty sexy. Looks like a lot of quality. That's what we were just saying. I'm like building custom parts, I'm like one to ten. How do you feel? And I'm like, pretty, pretty much as professional as it gets. I mean, <clears throat> he he does have a professional drift car. Oh yeah, we, we got we went a little farther than that average uh, pro am bear. We went a little. Yeah. Succeeded with the VIP caddy, but. Well, yeah. I mean, you gotta have this gold. Yeah, we're trying to get we're trying to get people excited riding a car. Sorry, we're in the middle of a big old project, so we're gonna have to figure out where this thing goes. But basically, that's gonna look so good. The FDF valve is gonna be right here. We're checking. It. Charlie, what are you doing? He's like, I don't know about you. You guys got food? We got parts. It's even better, Charlie. We'll take a look at what's in this box here. Give it a nice little cut open. Cut open. I pretty much run FDF Fab on all my cars. They're basically the angle kit company for me, anyways. I have never seen any reason to mess with any other companies for this type of stuff. So. We will see what the first CPS is. Oh, these are all parts. The old parts will make the new parts work. But honestly, you can have all those new parts and they can be all gold and shiny, but if you don't have your old parts to you make the car actually go back together and roll and drive again, there's no point in having new shiny parts. So, super ecstatic. They sent us back the old parts. They thought ahead and went ahead and sent those old parts knowing that he would not. Too exciting. But it's just old stuff. Okay, old stuff is what makes the car roll, so we're totally into that too. So let's go grab an angle kit from the showroom floor and uh, bring it up here and kind of just show a little pink contrast with the gold and the black. The car is in the middle of a project right now. It's in the way of getting its own molds and gold strand carbon fiber, I believe, or possibly honeycomb or something different. But when one project stops, you want to start another one. So the car kind of looks the way it does today because it's in the middle of a project, but I just wanted to kind of show you the contrast look of what we were going to with that gold up against that black and kind of show what this product would look like. I believe, oh, which way do we need to have it here? Is it this direction? I haven't even watched the video yet. Either way, we will be going through the videos and understanding how this angle kit works and we will keep you posted to show you all the different, all the different things, tips and tricks that we learn when installing this kit on the CTS V2 for the first time. Rock and roll.